morning all and welcome back to the second day of the daily vlogs now i'm not gonna lie to you i'm on my first break of the day i've already done four and a half hours um i woke up a bit late this morning and i was tired and groggy so i thought you know what do the vlog a bit later on once you've had a coffee so here we are so i thought due to me netflix not working i would give you a bit of a tour of some of the things i carry with me uh in europe um just thought you might be interested <laughs> so first things first we've got the memory wall this is the important one now i know this sounds stupid yeah but i like to look up from where i am netflix has come on and uh look at basically my family the beautiful partner uh, my children the truck down there for some of the nice places we've been but basically what i do is i write a bit of a memorial where we were what date home mont blanc top of the blanc with emily things like that okay uh, gas canisters as you know i camp it i carry a gas camping stove with me i always take the gas out because sometimes if it's held against as you can hear the gas does leak you leave that on all day or it's caught on somewhere all day one little bit of a light bang it booms uh, up here at the top bunk it's quite simple now i am running out of clothes so i do apologize i have a box work clothes they're on my work clothes that is my washing that's an air polisher wash bag and then stuff like jumpers and coats and things like that that i don't really need at the moment uh, and my camping stove which hasn't got the gas in so that's basically a bit of storage at the top now going over here i don't stock up on much food okay i'm not gonna lie to you i don't cook much and i don't do anything like that because it's so cheap to eat out in europe and obviously being my own boss it's a tax deduction as well so you've got i've got to be honest with you um last night i had a three course meal for 11 euro works out about nine pound you can't argue with that by the time you buy everything, pots, pans, pot noodles and all that, you know, for a three course meal for nine quid, you can't really argue. So, this cupboard is just basically safety wear, truck paperwork, a couple of microfibers. And then in this cupboard, I don't have a microwave because once again, I don't use it as much. Uh, just some emergency food, pasta and sauces, always handy. You never know where you're gonna get stuck. Um, you know quick and easy food porridge things that don't have a short sell by date long life foods you know what i mean porridges pastas things like that just all in one big box as you can see you've got some pasta in there some soups things like that just to keep you going while you're on the road a bit of tea and coffee always handy to have aftershave gopro equipment a bit of cereal if i need some um and then my polarized camera i have got an inverter at the back there but i just simply don't use it this one above my head normally is my junk one, but I've not got any junk because I'm trying to lose a bit of weight. Uh, this one in here, all my camera equipment, I always keep in here so it's easy to grab. Uh, once again, paperwork, organising, a diary, CMRs, blank CMRs and obviously a food tray. So I don't actually carry that much stuff with me. Uh, going down to the side lockers, let's get out and have a look. If there's one tool, welcome to the new edition by the way, I bought it today, 11 euro just for that. One tool I could recommend, a Swiss army knife. Now I know some people might be watching this and go, oh, they're illegal. This has saved my life so many times. Screwdrivers, corkscrews, toothpicks, knives, magnifying glasses, screwdrivers, flat bulb. Honestly, he's got me out there, poo. On here soon enough, I'm gonna have a little bit of a bracket. That's gonna hold my iPad up for me when I'm in bed so I can watch that. Under my bed, I store a uh, bit of tyre shine, once again pots and pans, emergency food, emergency tea and coffee, electrical wiring, work boots, fridge, I mean even my fridge I've got nothing in it, you know what I mean, it's just water, um, microfibers, all my cleaning gear down there, that's in the side locker, and there we go. Let's get out of the cab, I don't have any fancy mats, um, I'd love some, but the ones I had last time was too thick. So 
there was rather thick match, which is all good and well for your for your accelerator. Your brake pedal is quite higher, so that ain't a problem. But your clutch and uh, it got interfered and things like that. So I, ju I just got rid of them. Also, the problem is when you got match, you've always got to put your shoes here, and it's happened to me before where I've actually left a shoe on a service. You drove 400 mile and realised my shoe's not there, so I try and avoid having mats. Um, I'd love a set, but they're just so expensive for proper mats, and it's. I'm, I'm tight. So, side locker, pair of trainers. This is all a mess, by the way. I could probably do with going through this because I haven't been through it for a while. This is what you've seen from under the bed. So you've got your microfiber cleaning cloths, a uh, bit of polish, things like that. All loads of microfibers. You, can, you can't have enough microfibers. I've got a set of scales because I did plan to go on a diet. And I've got some Cab Auto Smart Polish there, which I've probably never used. Uh, and obviously, the old famous tyre dandy which I need some more of that because that is probably the best on market so far unless anybody else has got any recommendations for the tyre uh, forget on the catwalk I always have a ladder um, if anyone's watched my previous videos immigration checks I always get up I always have a look so your catwalk has always got the ladder that's just the trapped on um, and then as you go around show you under the grill in a minute because i'll give that a good clean as well as you go around please tell me it's not locked there we go here I've, this is normally a mess this because i don't throw my rubbish out the window so what i normally do is i put all my rubbish on here which sometimes overspills and then i get a bin bag and i clean it all up but apart from that you've just got cleaning gear uh, apple juice over there in that bottle unfortunately as a truck driver facilities aren't you know there is no toilet in there so as you can imagine it's gotta go um coolant bit of red seven which is non-acid product to clean the wheels and in this one we have a very very valuable um package which is my daughter's prime there's about nine bottles in there so tonight we're on the watching yard in here we've got TII cord that is supposed to go around the trailer and this is all my tools I've got bulbs cable ties um, I've got Susie's this is the mechanical if anything goes wrong now I am NOT a mechanic I don't know if you've seen a TikTok before where I, I fix the turbo on here I'm not a qualified mechanic but I am a get out of trouble mechanic because we're on YouTube we're not gonna swear um, Alfred's tool set honestly it's no snap on cost me a couple of hundred quid for all this but it's a just if I need it it's the situation and that's it really that's all I carry with me so oh let me show you under the grill because I did give it a clean and also for any of the non truckers who are watching this it might give you a bit of a, a bit of a help if you I don't know it might help it might not help <laughs> so here look at that i've cleaned all this now this were all mucky yesterday so i've cleaned all that give all that a good clean i always grease these now if you've got a daff you'll realize when you pull the handle it'll pop the grill but by the time you shut the door and come round, the latch wouldn't have come out properly so i always try and grease these up um once again clean it you've got your engine coolant there guys obviously never open I'm, i know i'm talking it teaching you to suck exactly but there's people who aren't driving who watch come across these vlogs engine that do not open while hot the water is absolutely boiling in the header tank um honestly you open that the water that will come out of the boiling will burn your hands oil and window cleaner uh windscreen wash always try and keep that topped up especially in this job with flies and stuff like that um keep that topped up so going over to this side if ever you have a wind windscreen jammed out like that all your mechanisms here once again you don't have to because it, you know but i always touch i think if you look after things put a bit of grease on them make it easier to work <coughs> it'll be easier all your wabco system fluid and all that hydraulics in there once again i'm not a mechanic i cannot tell you what that does that does this does where this goes I can tell you that's the engine, that's the radiator, that's all you're getting. <laughs> so, 
Right, well, listen, I'm just in the services. I'm in a cheeky 45 now before I cross over. Um, I'm gonna go and enjoy the sun and see how we get on later in the day. I've not got much to do today. Nice and simple, I'm just driving as far as I can. The trail's loaded, so after this, <coughs> another four and a half hour drive. I'm hoping to get somewhere in France I'm, uh, today and see how we get on for tomorrow to make the week easier for Grimsby. So, see you later. They must be doing some kind of practice. Um, I'm just looking at them now. There's, you know, they're flying very, very low, uh, but they're not. They're not distinguishing any water. So, yeah, as I was saying, that um, we've changed the plan a little bit due to me driving hours and what I've got left. I was gonna park in Leon and let Jamie come down to me, but to be honest with you, because I had four days off last weekend in Spain. I don't need to have a 45 hour break this weekend. I can reduce it down to a 24. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to Northern France. Um, I do know a place where there's great facilities. I'll be able to wash my truck, wash myself, wash my clothes. So that is where I'm heading now. Instead of heading towards Lyon, I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to head across and over the Mill Al Bridge, taking me around Paris and up that way over towards Lille and then head towards Calais, where I'll be stopping at a frequent truck stop that I often stay at, which is the TWV Truck Park, uh, where I'll then show a 24 hour off, Grimsby, i.e., G 
Jamie will be with me on Monday. We'll swap trailers for me to head down to Sp uh, France and Italy for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, getting me home for Friday. Obviously, I'll have a clean card as well, so that'll be fantastic. I can run into Saturday if I need to. Now, the way we're going, the Millau Bridge is an absolute beautiful bridge. Now, I can't tell you much about bridges, but stick around with me. I've got another 54 kilometers before I get there, so stay tuned. He's me done for the day. We've just crossed the Millau Bridge. We've got about an hour up the road, but unfortunately, I can only do a nine hour drive today. I've already used me to 10. So, where are we at today? You see, it's telling me here drive time. Never mind the tire pressure. There's nothing wrong with my tire pressure. Right, so as you can see here, it is telling me that my daily total drive time is eight hours and 53 minutes there's not many services forward now i can't really park anywhere else but i am going to show you a bit of advice now whether you take it or leave it or you think it's good or bad don't worry about it so that's me all booked off paperwork's nearly done and as you can see the timer is on i need 11 hours off tonight because i cannot reduce my rest anymore now the thing i wanted to show you before i end the vlog is where i've actually decided to park now some people might think I'm being way overprotective or stupid, but let me tell you from my point of view. Ow. As you can see, there's a big truck park at the back over there. Now I've decided to stop here in a bus stop, okay? Which I'm rather guessing the man who's cleaning the truck, cleaning the stuff behind my truck, he's not gonna be happy about. Now there's two reasons I have stopped here. First of all, what a beautiful view. Why wouldn't you stop there? Why would I wanna be over there looking at another truck and trailer that's the first reason but the second reason is more for safety now i'm very keen on preventing immigration if anybody watches any of my vlogs things like that i am very very keen on how i do my checks what i do to prevent people getting in and how to check if somebody has got in now 
it's all good and well doing all your checks but first of all you don't want to be putting yourself in a position where people can get in your trailer now somebody can get in your trailer no matter where you are in the world the only thing you can do is try and make it a bit more inconvenient for them i.e putting cameras up in your house putting an alarm on in your house getting a ghost immobilizer on your car things like that yeah this is what i do best okay now as you can see this is the main services yeah i don't know why there's a door up there first of all <laughs> i've just spotted out the corner of my eye with no stairs but this is the main services okay this is a 24 hour services with access from both sides okay so you got access from the front and uh, from southbound and northbound so first of all that throws them off they don't know which way i'm going they see the english reg they don't know if it's going up or down second of all there's no tii cord when they come to see this trailer they think hang on he's not sealed it properly we could just open that and get in and as stupid as that sounds they don't want to do it because they don't know they they think that this is going to end up going to the uk now i'm not i'm uh, to europe now i'm not going to tell you this is 100 percent accurate and do this every time do it your own way okay but what i would say is i'm parked at the pumps 24 hours camera people using them okay the seals are on so i can check them but as you can see that is going to be open all fucking night there's going to be sorry for my language sorry that's well then i try to keep my tiktok without swearing as you can see it's a busy services access both ends it's parking for buses only i don't care i'll park it here if they come out and complain i'll just explain to them that i'm just waiting here for a break they'll soon forget about me so i'm gonna go and grab some dinner I'm going to do a bit of editing and then I'll put it on. Hopefully this one won't be as long as yesterday's. Tomorrow it'll be quite short as well because we're only going from here to the north of France where we are parking up for 24 hours where I'm going to be doing a full review on the parking in France. One of my favourite parkings where I can finally wash some clothes because as of today, I'm in the same clothes as yesterday because I've run out of clothes. <laughs> See you later.